What is up, you two? It's me, Dr. Team here, and welcome to Mermaid Swamp. Now, this is a real old RPG horror game, guys. I'm talking back when PewDiePie and Markiplier and, you know, Corey Kenshin used to play these kinds of games. And, you know, I just recently I just felt like playing it, you know. I know what happens, I know everything that happens in this game. But I wanted to play this game for myself, you know, once and for all. Instead of just watching others play it. So, we're gonna get into it. So, let's go. Let's see what we got. This game contains grotesque and somewhat sexual images. Please be mindful of this as you play. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damage indirectly brought by the game. Whoa. So we're like in the water. Do you guys hear this? Like, what the? Am I underwater? What the hell am I doing? I don't know, man, but I see something. Somebody there? Hmm. Ren, wake up! It's just a dream, guys. We were in the car the whole time. Stop sleeping already for crying out loud. Sataro. Ah, shut up. I was just taking a nap. That's so bad. One, have a, one hell of a nap. You just been driving all this time, and you've just been snoozing in the back. Sheesh, not a hint of lady in this one. Not exactly interested in being ladylike for an early balding punk like you. Ooh. Okay. Yuka Kikuchi. <clears throat> Kikuchi. Rise and shine, Rin. I'm going to guess you slept well. Give me a start around noon. Yeah, but thanks to Baldi here, more of a rude awakening. Quit your yammering, Yammerzaki. <laughs> okay, that, that wasn't that good. It was alright, I guess. Play on words. Hey, Yuta. Where are we, anyway? You said something about kicking things into high gear, but we're in the mountains or what? <laughs> My bad. I don't know where this is either. Huh? You telling me we're lost? Yep. Don't have the first clue where we are. You gotta be kidding me. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Oh, that was you. Never mind. Sorry about that. I mean. I did kind of know at first, but the fog just got so thick. <laughs> That's not funny. That ain't funny, shrimp face. Yeah, it's not funny, man. What the hell? We're lost. This is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip in your lousy old GPS-less car. Ow, oh, don't kick the seat. Well, now what do we do? I can't even see any signs. Huh? Yuta, why'd you stop? Or Yuta, why'd you stop? I didn't. I just stopped. Or it just stopped. Hold on. I'll try the engine. Oh. Ah, crap. I think it's totally busted. Are you for real, dude? You dumbass. Ah, wait here. I'll go check and take a look. Yeah, I'll take a look. You stay in the car. God damn, I'm bigger than the damn car. What the? Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? Oh no, man. Oh no. Let's keep moving forward. Somebody there? It's an old man. What up, old man? Quite a surprise. What would you be doing up in these mountains, miss? No, we just got lost. Or our car broke down. Just an old coot. Damn it. Don't freak me out. We were on a trip, but our car got went kaput. So I guess we're stuck. That's very unfortunate. Is there anywhere you can stay? Nah. If you can't get in running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. You didn't even do that. My home is nearby. You can stay there. Even if it's summer, it's quite cold in the nights. Huh, for real? Well, let me talk to my buds. Yeah, gotta 
Gotta consult with my friends real quick. <clears throat> That's a relief. Thanks, old man. But you sure? We don't want to pr pressure you. Well, I am a landlord around here. You see, my house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks to make use of it. Ah, I'm really grateful. Well, we'll get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I can see it now. Whoa, that place is huge. Damn, now that's a mansion. I kind of feel bad, Grants, but thanks. You know, wait. Whoa, it's really, well, that's you. Well, it's really roomy inside, too. You gotta be rich, am I right? <laughs> rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps. It's pretty nice, I don't know what you're talking about. From what I can see. Come on, I'll, I'll show you to your rooms. You can use this room, Miss Friend. Forgive the old-fashionedness. It ain't nothing. It kinda looks like the whole retro thing. Thanks again, Gramps. There's a really nice room. Got some couches, a table. I'm sure you're hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Till then, make yourself at home. Thanks, old painter. You know, Rin is like very tomboyish. Electric outlet, like, I don't know. The way she holds herself together and talks. We got a chest for valley bills, maybe. There's nothing inside, though. Oh, go to sleep. Ah. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, I think this is Taro, yeah. I think this is Taro, yeah. Wakasugi. It ain't that old of a building, really. You see that other place out back? Now that's old. Huh? There's another mansion out back? The old man tells me they built this one a generation ago since the other one was falling apart. Huh. Really? A large sub for the house. We'll sleep in your bed. Nah, nah. You're old anyways, man. You got gray hairs. Ooh, this look nice. What up? Yuka? Nice, your room has a dresser. I ain't got one in mine. It's a great design, isn't it? You can come over to do your makeup in the morning. Hey, thanks a bunch. That's it. That's all we're gonna say to each other? I thought we were best friends. And, uh, you. You. You got us lost, you dumbass. <clears throat> hey, Rin. You see that big swamp in front? Yeah. The one you can see out the windows? It's super huge, isn't it? Maybe I'll go for a swimming tomorrow. Yeah, uh, stay away from me after you do that, because you're going to reek. Yeah, I oh, know. I know nothing about that, bro. Have you seen Shrek? Exactly, man. You don't want to go in there. TV. Nice look. <gasps> look, what is that? That kind of scared me. Black, black, or bletch. That was weird. Got a little phone. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, the pictures of Ophelia. Ophelia. Another picture of Ophelia. Got the dining table, and here's the old man. <clears throat> hmm, I don't have much food on hand for guests. Would chicken and egg on rice be alright? Uh, I kind of prefer something beefier. Like, literally beefier. Fortunately, I'm out of beef. I must apologize. Oh well, I'll get anything. I'll eat anything on this stomach. Or maybe on most stomachs. Haha. <laughs> alright. Yeah, old man. I don't know, like. Come on, Rin, you gotta be nice about it. He's a, he's already offering his house as it is. You don't have to be mean. Look at my little walk. Mm, 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 mm. I look so sassy when I walk. Wow, that's one big swamp. Yeah. Hmm? 
monument? What's this? A stone monument? Huh. A man did abduct from the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe Star know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument? Ah! Jeez, old man, you gotta not do that. Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? Nah, I couldn't make heads or tails out of it. What's it say? It's a legend that's sold around here. Legend of the so-called Mermaid Swamp. Okay. Legend? Yeah. It originated in the middle of the Meiji era. My family has been in this area ever since around that time. It is said that the son of the leader descended the mountains down to the seaside and discovered a mermaid. Sounds shady right out the gate. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it is a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty that he took her out to this mountain's home. He created a fish tank for her to live in, and he filled it with water from this very swamp. But the mermaid of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly. Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice as melodic as ringing bells was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid took on the most repulsive form and subsequently died. Not a mermaid's wrath is not a pretty thing. Young women have vanished from the nearby village, it is said to be a mermaid's curse. And such, this monument was put up to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? Uh, sorry. Don't know about all that. Tell it to Satoru. He likes stories and stuff. Ah, uh, is that right? Well, I've prepared dinner now, so come to the dining room if you would. Oh, finally. Let's get a move on. Yeah, I'm hungry. Mmm, <coughs> delish. This is some great stuff, old man. I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. Uh, the bath is free if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from the day's events. Please rest yourselves. Ah, we get to eat. In a nice house. Get our own rooms. Ah, this is just nice. Yuka, aren't you gonna eat? What's up? Yeah, I guess I'm too tired to have an appetite. Well, you okay? We'll clean up. You can get some rest. Alright. Thanks, Yura. You trying to hit or what? What are you trying to do, Yura? Yummy, yummy. Y'all clean up now. We don't have to clean up after you. Do it yourself, Yamayaki. Yeah, work on your names while you're at it. Wow, we are sassy, man. We have no manners. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm ready to conk out after that bath. Or after a bath. Let's charge your phone. Nope. A little fire. A little. Ah, nice fluffy bed. Hmm. Man, it looks so comfy. Oh, we're back in the water. <clears throat> huh? Am I underwater again? We are indeed. Must be a dream. I mean, I'm not drowning and my eyes don't hurt. I can't move a muscle though. Sleep paralysis maybe? I don't know. Ooh, I swear to God if that happened in real. Like I hear stories about sleep paralysis on this. There's this like creature sitting on top of you, man. Somebody's there again. Hey, that's just weird, man. Ah, oh, my sister and well, oh, I don't know what's wrong with my family. Like they always have weird dreams. I'll tell you when we're around. All right. Who the hell is it? Stop staring at me. Like uh, I'll kill you. Like, my mom, she had a dream that she, I don't know, like, she keeps having nightmares in which she dies or someone in our family dies, and it's just weird. Got some good sleep. Morning already? Yep, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, my family, yeah, they're just weird. I don't know why, but... 
This is one time my, my aunt had a party over at uh large swim at her house with my uncle. And you know, they were partying and everything. And then like the next thing I knew, like or, or what am I talking about? After the party was over, you know, like everyone, all the guests left and they locked up. And all of a sudden they, they uh you know, my uncle's like drunk and half like I don't know, once he's drunk you can't wake him up. And you know, my cousin, she's like maybe six at the time, seven, eight maybe. And you know, she fell asleep. And and then that's when weird things started happening. Like my aunt started hearing knocks, she's like I'm like what's that sound? I'll consult with you guys later. You know, I was just like, well, what is going on? Wow. Well, why are they talking for, you know? I mean, well, what's that knocking sound? And then that's when, uh... When my aunt went to go check. Maybe I shouldn't walk around too much. You know, my aunt went to go check what was going on. And, like, all of a sudden this man, naked, half-naked man, came out. He only had jeans on and he like started chasing her around the house. I was just like, what? And you know, she just locked the door, tried to wake up my uncle, he wouldn't wake up and she just ran out the window. And then she called, she grabbed her phone, you know, she called my grandpa and grandma. And it was just crazy, man. I was like, the biggest news in our family. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Dan, you guys are really up early. What's the deal? early it's already 10 but anyway I checked on the car and it's still not looking any better couldn't be out of gas it's so old I wouldn't rule out it just falling apart but whatever it is how are we gonna leave oh what is happening here nothing we're just chilling oh yeah oh man sorry but can we stay a little longer that's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, I have to go to a nearby village to attend a memorial service for a few days. That right? Well, we'll be out soon then. We wouldn't want to stay too long. Even without a car, we should find a way walking. We could just leave the car and take the train home. No, it's quite a while for you to stay. I'm the one who only lives here anyway. After all, I have quite an appreciation of someone looking after it. Huh, really? Indeed. And you wouldn't get far walking in the mountains, certainly not in this fog. You're more than welcome to stay until your car is fixed. Just please don't do anything dangerous like walking around the mountains. Alright, thanks Gramps. Peace out Gramps. Well, I've got to be in and out. Keep an eye on any fires and again, don't go walking in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, we'll hold the fort, don't you worry. Don't go dying yourself, you hear? <laughs> I'll be careful. So long. There we go. And we have the house all to ourselves. Ready to throw a party. <clears throat> hey, it's evening already. Better get in the bath first. I ain't going in after the guys. Hey, we gotta go talk to you guy. And then, yeah. After that whole thing going down. You guys trembling. Looks kind of painted. Is she gonna be okay? Oh yeah, and then like after uh, my grandma uh, or like my grand my grandpa, and my aunt came. They asked the neighbors, you know, cause my I don't know. My family seems to be into that part of normal stuff. They asked the neighbor what was going on. They're like, oh, some dude died a long time ago in that house, and were, and you know. I pretty much thought it was a ghost who was in the house and you know then they did then the neighbors told them about their experience with ghosts that every time you know they left that furniture would be moved and all that stuff it was just crazy man yeah but yeah oh that's all I just want to tell you guys a little bit about that let's take a bath and yeah this is crazy man we're naked. Uh, ah, yeah, that's the good stuff. Gary managed to relax yesterday. Having a huge bath like this is sweet. 
wonder if Yuka's gonna bathe. So I guess I'm just not feeling well. Kind of a wasted trip. I'm getting sleepy. In the shower, that's not a good thing. Or in a bath, uh, you could drown, man. Get up! Hmm? The water's all black. Ugh. Ugh, is that her? Is that her? Breast? Mm. Ah, what the hell is this? The water's all gross. It wasn't this color when I got in. Not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty. Gets me every time. Hey, what's the matter? Get out! What are you looking at me like that for? What the heck are you doing barging in me for? Or barging it on me for? <sighs> that was crazy. You know, she looks like Android 18 with that outfit. Like, she has, like, what I can say, like, brown boots, blue skirt, and then, like, a black with white sleeves, long sleeves, and blonde hair. She looks like Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. For real though, just so money. Just how gross are you? <laughs> Shut your mouth, that ain't the problem. The water just got all muddy. Poof, like that. <laughs> Alright, jokes aside then, isn't this swamp water? Huh? And why would it be in the bath, genius? I don't know, maybe the plumbing screwed up. Could have mixed in some swamp water. Though the shower and the toilet look okay. Well, no baths for a while. I guess we'll have to hold out until the old man gets back. I'm out. Why wow, I just gonna walk out on me like that? Disrespect, man. Damn it. What even? Ugh. This pisses me off. I'll go check on you good and then get to bed. Yeah, let's go to bed. Ugh. I should be doing that too. I have volunteering hours tomorrow at the Discovery Children's Museum in Las Vegas. His trembling looks kind of painted. Is she gonna be okay? You're not even gonna say anything? Or you could do your makeup. Uh, I guess we won't say anything. Did you say Yuka or Yura? Let me check on Yura. Hey, Ren. Is Yuka okay? She seems really ill. We should go to the hospital if it's still bad tomorrow. Better ask the old man about it ASAP. Uh, you, uh, kind of smell like sludge or something. Let's not talk about it. Oh. Uh, I mean, you did say that he was gonna stink. But you ended up being the one who stinks. Alright, let me save real quick. Let me save. Entry one. Well, guys, I'm gonna cut it here. I gotta go to sleep, you know, do my volunteering hours tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, my brothers and sisters. Peace out.